Hello Aries and welcome to the Green Woman Tarot. This is your reading for the next two weeks, which is from the 24th of May to the 7th of June 2021. And it's a general reading just to see what sort of energies are around you at this time, to see what's on the cards for you. But before we delve into the tarot reading, I need to consult the oracle and this is the compendium of witches oracle that I'm using today to draw a couple of cards from just to start your reading off with. So let's see what words of wisdom does the mysterious oracle have for Aries for the 27th of May to the 7th of June. 2021. Oopsie. What messages are here for Aries for the next couple of weeks? Oh, okay. What does Aries need to know? And you have the Guardian and the Scholar have fallen out. So the Scholar is about being willing to research, um, to learn as you go and, and to continue learning even though you may have reached some degree of expertise in, in something, in an area. Um, so really relishing learning more and finding out the facts and um, then being able to implement them in a practical way. And then The Guardian is about... Um, well, of course, guardianship, protection, um, you know, sort of perhaps this is making a, a stand to to hold on to what you've got, to protect what you've got, to to protect your resources and and your knowledge and um, being willing to 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 fight for those who you um, feel protective towards and being willing to stand your ground. But also being able to offer guidance and support as well. So there's a sort of a lot of mothering um, energy in this card as, as well as um, protectivity. But, you know, certainly being not being afraid to make a stand. So there you have the guardian with, um, you know, providing stability and protection and the scholar with being willing to learn to relish um, the gathering of, of information and facts. Let's see where the rest of the reading goes. So let's see what's on the cards for Aries for the 24th of May 2021 to the 7th of June 2021. What messages are here for Aries? What does Aries need to know at this time? And this is the um, Tarot de Marseille weight, um, which I'll be using to do an eight card spread for you, with the first two cards depicting you in your current situation, where you are now. And then the next two cards highlighting the challenges that you face at this time with the following two cards offering you some guidance from divine energies as you move towards the last two cards which may reveal your possible outcome they show which energies you'll be moving into as you finish this time period so let's see what you get Oh, the Maison Du, that's the, the Tower and the Queen of Cups. So it's an emotional time of upheaval and change. Wow. And then you have the Knight of Wands and the Six of Wands as your challenge. Let's move it all up. And then your guidance is the Two of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles, which fits nicely there. And then you're moving towards the Empress. 
and the hermit and at the bottom of the deck is the ten of coins which is all about that stability that secure foundation now that's interesting because you start with the breaking down of something that may have seemed secure and stable something that you've built up around you um, for your protection that felt secure but at the first um, confrontation has started to crumble and fall away and you know this brings breaks down the the, the facade of of the stability of it and it's sort of sort of in, you know it's indicated that this happens through outside forces um, sudden catastrophic but the good news with the um, tower is that um, from that moment or time of disruption um, and and the tearing down of masks and facades and um, the exposure of the the, the the instability underlining the situation from that um, you know you, you it sweeps away all the the debris the 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 un the the things you don't need are all washed away and what remains is, is like a new a new page a clean slate for you to start on with to rebuild something that is truly secure that is properly grounded and um, brings proper stability um, but your this tower moments connected with the um, Queen of Cups now as I said it's sort of a, you know this may bring up a lot of emotions um, uh, and in, you know intense feelings but it also may be that it requires you to to witness that to to deal with that in a in a compassionate way towards others so perhaps this tower moment is is not about what's happening with you but something that you're connected to and you're required to um, show um, th that compassionate support that empathy in in order to provide a state a st you know stability for those who are in in, in a state of um, shock and, and distress and I mean that brings to mind the Guardian so perhaps this indicates your role where you are now and your challenges in this is to you know to to feel as a degree of success in that to feel that the you know this this quest this um, endeavor is something that can yield um, a good outcome something that can be that your efforts can be um, recognized and acclaimed so you know in, an, in a positive position the knight of wands is all about adventure desire sort of, sort of really going for something without actually planning ahead without much forethought just diving in for that moment of glory and um, success so perhaps that is linked to why the this there's this tower moment so you know so perhaps something was um, pursued in in a moment of impulse um, for with with a vision of of success and glory but it has failed and that failure brings intense emotions that need to be mastered that need to be you know um, endured and perhaps comforted perhaps you you're offering comfort to someone who has um, struggled or, or suffered a, a setback in, in, a, in a moment of I mean has suffered the setback of something that they've pursued and the, the reason that it has failed is because there was no forethought there was no planning there was no research to ground it, to stabilize it, to, to make sure that it, it, it was as it seemed. That's the sense I get. So your guidance here is, is to find this um, connection, to make an, um, an 
emotional connection and sort of shows like a partnership forming the coming together of opposites a duality forming and um, that is linked with learning starting again to to rebuild skills to re to you know to find the resources and the time to put the effort and the focus in to be willing to learn as you go so I get a sense here that you know whatever this pursuit was that failed it was singularly sought after and the realization now is that perhaps what you need is to bring in a partnership of sorts um, uh, and, and sort of align these two polar energies or talents in order to um, refocus on something and building up something new and with that comes a willingness to learn as you go to put the effort in and to realize that it's going to take time and patience in order to build up something now that is truly solid and stable something that is a legacy to hand down to others and the, it sort of requires this partnership requires loyalty and that sense of perhaps a gentle way of leading so it's rather than just being in charge of the the partnership being one of equals in the partnership that involves a lot of learning that could even relate to a relationship you know having started off with very romantic fiery passionate with a desire for it to succeed but outside events caused a disruption and the the desire to um to 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 pick up the pieces and begin again real with the realization that it takes dedicated effort it takes hard work and learning and um, nurturing of each other and that leads you to the empress which is about that nurturing motherly spirit that guardian spirit that um, that ability to build up something um, secure uh, and um, fruitious something very um, that, that has a lot of potential for growth and abundance, something very abundant and meaningful and um, homely in order um, yeah, in order to, to provide this stability and security. So, you know, it's, it's like I get a sense here, this, this, this is a story about getting a second chance at building a, a pursuit of something that you were very passionate at whether it's it's a relationship or a, a, an endeavor it's sort of fallen because there was a lack of research a lack of the effort needed to put in it it was just seen as something you know that you thought would just pull together without much um work and and because of that it, it was it was it wasn't firmly grounded it wasn't rooted and it failed but there's a second chance available now if you're willing to reunite or to unite find a part with the with a partnership you know unite two opposing or polar energies and really work at it to build up something abundant and nurturing very nurturing and that's you know makes me think of like you perhaps you wanted something more um, traditional like rather than just a fleeting affair a meaningful relationship a marriage of sorts and then you've got your last card here so the hermit sort of shows that within that partnership you need to find the space this is where the strength will come in the um this the space for personal development for finding answers for quiet time in you know so with that studiousness is a time for reflection for inner growth as well not just a material abundance of um rewards and and abundant you know security and um growth but personal inner growth perhaps even for both of you 
so there you have it Aries I hope you enjoyed your reading and that it resonates with you and if so please remember to hit the like share and subscribe buttons and then enjoy the next two weeks and God bless you till we meet again